now we can mount the line following sensors to the front of the chassis. For this we will need this bag labeled for line tracking sensors. We'll take one of the sensors and we'll use one of the copper spacers with corresponding screw and nut. Take the sensor and insert the spacer from underneath the sensor. Then tighten with the nut. Take a second spacer and repeat the same procedure for the second hole. This is how the sensor should look like. This sensor is ready to mount and we'll repeat the same procedure for the other two sensors. Insert from the bottom with nut on the top of the sensor where the components are mounted and tighten. Do not over type as you may need some final small adjustments once when you mount on the chassis. A second spacer. The sensor is ready. And repeat the same procedure for the last sensor. We can take all the nuts and spacers outside. Exactly the same procedure. And the last one. All three of them are ready. We'll take the one that is labeled one and we'll mount it right here on this side of the chassis. There are two holes corresponding to the two spacers. We'll place the sensor underneath the chassis like this and we'll use screws from the top to mount it. The first screw, leave it loose so we can adjust the second screw and the second screw. This was sensor number one. Next we'll take sensor number two and mount it in the center. Exactly the same way using 
the two screws to screw into the two spacers. And finally, sensor number three will be mounted on this side. Like loose, and if you want, now we can tighten all the sensors. We can use this opportunity to also tighten all the motors in place. And this pretty much should be all that we need to do on the bottom chassis. To have easy access, for now I will not mount yet the wheels of the robot. We'll mount the wheels at the very end, but other than wheels, the bottom chassis, the bottom layer of the chassis of the robot is ready. The three sensors will be connected through those three connectors and the cable will go through this opening here. And here we'll connect to the Arduino with uh, the motor driver board.